Today I am traveling to a part of the country that I've never visited before, let alone play golf. Alongside me is my good pal Lewis. Seton Carew is on the northeast of England and has a unique 22 holes. The good news is the sun is shining and as this is a Lynx golf course, it should be dry. I will be unveiling a new match play format I created that is about to take the golfing world by storm. This 48 hour road trip will see us staying in the grounds of a medieval castle. Lewis will bring along with him his majestic swing and I will bring a face that continually looks like it's been sentenced to a public hanging. Although this could be described as a smile. But following a three hour journey we need to get our priorities in order. And for me and Lewis that generally means food. I don't like getting me toast so. Don't get getting your toast. No. Like beans. No. Yeah, I know it's uh it's a nightmare, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not fond of them. Do you call it do you call it dinner or tea? Or does it depend what company you're in? Yeah. We try and be it's tea at home, isn't it? You're gonna be impressed what's for tea. So with breakfast done and considered to be the warm-up of choice, it was time for these two athletes to hit the first tee. So Seton Carew has a unique layout of 22 holes which allows them the luxury of a winter and a summer course with the rotation of certain golf holes. What you see today is the Bishop's course which is their winter layout. The Micklum is the main season course and will be home to the English Amateur Championship later this year. This is clearly a Lynx course of some pedigree. Right Lou, we're back on our travels and uh, Seton Carew, two holes in, give me one word, I only have two words to describe what we've seen so far. Classic links. Two? I'd say I'd agree, yeah. classic links. Linksy, I like Decent it. Decent start, par par. Yeah, love it. The design of the golf course can largely be attributed to the legendary Dr Alistair McKenzie and this year it celebrates its 150th anniversary. As with many Lynx courses, the layout can see many holes be played continuously in the same direction, which means a wind direction that can help and also hinder. A number of the opening holes play out to the far end of the course, with the imposing skyline that is dominated by industrial chimneys and cranes. A glance to the opposite horizon, and the more recent development of wind farms peer above the high dunes, that separate the course from the beach and the North Sea. Off the Beaten Track is sponsored by PXG. They have stepped up and supported this series which has allowed me to make this style of content for which I am very grateful. I am also indebted to all of you who have given incredible support to this series. And as ever, I'm asking you to continue to provide comments and feedback, especially on this new match play format. Yeah, well done. That's okay. That's okay. Is he that good? Only a tad. But I think, I just assumed because we're playing mats, I thought you were just aiming for the first cut, no? Because I know you don't miss fairways. See, I saved you there. You don't miss fairways on purpose, do you? Too far away from your little line. The hole number eight, last, well, we've got two more warm up holes, and then it's the time to reveal the biggest 
I think, I think the biggest move in match play golf for the last 100 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's the big reveal, isn't it? It is a big reveal. First played. I'm looking forward to playing it. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be an interesting format? Is it going to work? Yeah. You think it is? I can't wait to share with you what this game is all about, and it's a real uh, twist on match play. So there is, a, there, is a, there is a way to sabotage and negate that good shot and we'll get to it very, very shortly. Hang on a second. Here we go. Yeah, on that basis, I think that uh, this whole, the sabotage card, as I'm going to call it for now, before the big reveal, would have been just used. Yeah, great shot. So before I introduce you to our new match play format that will revolutionize the game, it's time to sit back, chill out, and take a close look at Seton Carew Golf Course. I also want to give a shout out to James McNeely who is a supporter of the channel and designed the stymie graphics that you're seeing in today's video in super quick time. James can be found at nidesigner.com. I'll be taking on Lewis on the back nine in the very first time this game has been played on camera and I'd love to know your thoughts and better still, give it a go for yourselves. Here are the rules of the game. Stymie is a new form of match play where you will require both skill and strategy to be victorious. This is a nine or 18 hole match play but with a twist, toss a coin to decide the order of play. First to play holds a huge advantage. The players that tee off first will declare whether the hole is in play but only after they have played their tee shot and determined if they perceive to hold an advantage. If they declare the hole is not in play, they will have to declare stymie. When a hole is declared in play, the opponent has two options, accept the challenge and play out the hole or they can also declare stymie, which is your chance to sabotage and the hole becomes void. Important to note that player two must declare stymie before they play their shot. If the hole is declared void, the hole is still played in accordance with match play rules to determine who has the all important honor on the next tee. Each player gets two opportunities to declare stymie over the nine holes and must choose wisely. Maybe sounds a little bit complicated, but it'll all become very clear very, very quickly. This is the first hole of our match, it's the 10th, and we're going to play the back nine in the first ever recorded game of Stymie. Basically, we chose to play, uh, well, I had the honour, I won yeah. the toss, all important, because I chose, I hit a good shot, 
and I chose that the hole was to be in play. And Lewis had two options. He either plays a stymie card very early on or he chooses to take on the challenge. He took on the challenge. It wasn't his best tee shot, if I'm honest. He'd been playing really good all afternoon. And as you can see, uh, made a good effort at getting up and down. But ultimately, that puts me one up after one. The good news is both stymie cards are intact. So That's there's it. a long way to go yet. Nice shot. That's decent. Struggle the next 10. No shot. I'm going to say it's in play. Okay. Okay. Now, whether that's a wise decision or not, because maybe play. I should play. Are you playing? Yeah, yeah, let's play. There's no shot, so. Yeah, good solid drive. So the decision here is whether or not I've made a bad call there. Maybe I should have kept it for a shot hole and uh, negated that one, but we'll see. Great shot. Yeah. I've got to get up and down. This could backfire on me already. My own strategy of has backfired. Sit down. I thought it was quite nice at first, to be honest with you. There's a little bit in this as well, isn't there? Because there's no shot to this hole. No. So I could just I could just roll this up, couldn't I? Yeah. No, I lost the hole. It was a bad call on my part, and uh, I should have cried stymie. So this is where I think we'll get the benefits, isn't it? Yeah. So this is stroke two. I won the last hole, so we're all square. Bog's still got two stymies. So this is where I'm going to hit the shot. I've got to make a decision, but you're on a shot. So this is where it comes into play. Because normally, normally you just say, oh, he's, and he's on a shot. If he hits a good drive, I'll just play a same. But because I've got the on it, I've got to make the call. So. Nope, I'm going to play a stymie net. There's no <laughs> chance. <laughs> there is no chance you're having a shot. And you basically, that's not your best drive. No, I binned it up the left. So just explain rubbish. then, so you're too stymie, you can use one now at this point to yeah. negate the hole. Yeah, so I'm just going to completely just null and void this hole. So we're just going to continue to play the hole to see who, you with your shot, to see who's got the honour on the next tee. But the idea is, um, you played one I, 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 I've, uh, I've had a nightmare. Even though you, I don't care where your go, yours goes, I'm playing it, we're not playing this all, no chance. So. And it seemed a wise decision because this drive was as good as I've got to offer. I've played one. So with Lewis on the green, all I need to do is find anywhere on that dance floor and hopefully to put for a par. Lewis had left himself a long putt up the green for a birdie, which comes up short. So two from here should be enough to win back the honour and ready myself for the next tee.
Right, next hole is par 5, 467, stroke 14, so again, no shots in play. On the last hole, I've managed to get the honour back, but you were very much right to play a stymie. Uh, it was a good decision, otherwise it would have been hole lost. It's a big swing over to left to right. I'm not sure how... Yeah, quite severe, that dog leg is. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that's position A. The decision is now, you see, this is where the game becomes really clever, is because I'm not getting a shot, do I gamble? Do I wait a little while and declare that uh, not in play? But that would mean using a stymie. But I'm not going to. I'm happy with the drive. I'm going to say this hole is in play. And it's over to you, Lou. Yeah, I think that was a right shot. Especially with that wind that way. Yeah, yeah. It's not moved an inch, has it? Happy? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, not too bad. Louis left himself, what, 275? Yeah. He's going to go driver off the deck, which is, uh, yeah, worth a, a like and a subscribe in itself. I believe it stayed, that's always going to squeeze to the right and it stayed straight. Yeah, the wind's off the left and that generally would squeeze that way, wouldn't it? Hey. I don't know where it is, it's on the green anyway, and uh, it's a puff for eagle, mate. I've got to be happy with that. That's two decent digs. No, no, it's all right. Got a put at it, haven't I? For a hole, it's for birdie. At best, for a half. It's not how I uh, intended this part of five to go. So, come on then, and how many eagles do you have? Not, not a lot, Luke. Not a lot, mate. I just thought that then. Two putts for the win. Oh, very good. I thought it was going to turn, but... Very good. It's a decent birdie. Yeah. Not the good game. enough for the win. Yeah. So this is interesting because I'm now on a shot. And you're one up. And I'm one up. So it's... And you've got two times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really important for me to try and get that fairway and get this one in play if I can. It would really switch the pressure up, I think. It's kicking in nice. Well, this hole's in play from my liking. Yeah. You playing? What's time in? <laughs> I'm going to stymie this one. You're going to stymie it? Yeah, you visit Miles down there. You calling stymie? Yeah, yeah. I need to get rid of this. Super swing, that is. The super drive. So I'd left myself a 9-iron and a low happy with the strike, the wind drifted the ball to the right of the flag and run off into the swale.
I chose to put up the rise and get close enough to have a chance of making par. The putter duly obliged, but Lewis's decision to play stymie means I only retain the honour on the next tee. What's happening? It was a good decision by you to play stymie because uh, I parred it on a shot, so it would have been two up, so it still keeps the game at one all. There's no shot on this hole, and what I was just debating was, I could effectively choose to play stymie on the next two, which would lose uh, both my options, and then take it down the last couple, or do I try and, uh, you know, take it on? It's, that's the whole point of the game, isn't it? It's very much a... It's 170 right into it. No. I can almost feel the word stymie coming out of my mouth before I've hit the tee shot. Just right of the bunker. It was okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to play my stymie. That's my first time you gone. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So we're playing for the honour, which is really important. There's a real thing to having it on the tee. Well, it's a tough hole, I'll tell you. An all right strike. An all right's not enough on this. It needs to be solid. Well, that's a proper golf shot. It's fantastic. Yeah, very nice indeed. So there's a chance to get the honour back. That's not going to get there either. Although not the best first effort from Lewis, he stepped up and drained a 12 footer for par. And although I'm not sure what happened to the footage of my putt, I can tell you I missed it. You are one up. Yeah. I have no stymies. You have one stymie. Yeah, absolutely. This is a stroke hole. It's yeah. stroke four, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a stroke hole, yeah. but it's four, three, three. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm only one down. I feel as though I'm getting battered, but I'm only one down. Yeah. Go. Hello. How do you feel? I'm feeling good. Better. I'm feeling good now. Yeah. It's a little up the left, but you're okay. Yeah, scoot with the bunker. Perfect that. That's okay though. Oh god. See that? It did get a good bounce. Well, it's going to be the back end. It's going to be off the green, but it'll be the back end of it. It's probably too big of a club as well. Got to start playing some good golf eventually, haven't I? So, good shot. Come on. Yeah. I'm all right with that. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, so what, what are you thinking there? What am I thinking? Same as you. <laughs> how how, the, how the heck is your ball finished here? I promise I didn't drop one. <laughs> there. Didn't look like that, did it? You've got to know the consoles, mate. Yeah, 100%. Play the consoles, it's yeah. Lynx Golf. I thought I taught you that over the years. Wow. You learned nothing. Wow. Oh, 
I was always going to leave that short after that, wasn't I? What am I doing? Go for par. Yours is for the win. Well, that was really unlucky. Unexpected there. <laughs> One that my ball was in such good nick. I can see how happy you were. Right. So you've got a stymie left. Yeah. Do you want to use it now? Oh, I've got to make that decision now, haven't I? Well, yeah. So you've got to play this hole on a shot. I'm going to play this hole. Okay. So far, I'm happy with the call to play the hole. The drive was, uh, was a, I've left 140 in. If I can get this on the dance floor, I could close it out. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm hoping. Come on, hand. It's looking good, Lou. Oh, it's short. Uh, it's on the front of the green, I'm happy. But uh, yeah, I suppose it's a good play. Right, business end of things. Lou, what are you playing in? What, what yardage? Uh, 143. For 143 for Lou. Uh, coming in with nothing in his way again. Good position on the fairway. Yeah, it's super ball this, if it's the right club. It's the right club. Go on, ball. Yeah, it's a super shot, Lou. Well played. We're still playing. Still playing. I think in match play terms, I'll probably take where the shot's finished. I'm a way short of the flag. I got the wind wrong a bit. It's a great, having said that, it's not a massive target, this green. Anywhere near in that bin lid would be an absolute Result. It's, it's a good line, yeah. It just did need that extra hoof, which is always hard to give, isn't it? Yeah. No matter how much you know that that last bit of the putt is uphill, still committing. So, well, very much still in play. Over to you. Right, so Lou's got this for the birdie three. It's a real good roll as well. Super effort that is, bud. Take it away. Oh, wow. I think it helps, you know, you give me a line on that. Of all the things, I was literally right behind you. Uh, right over my line, so. Wonderful. First game of stymie. Wonderful, well Let's played. have a chat off the green. We've got someone behind us and we'll talk about our first thoughts on uh, yeah, this new new creation. No logs, mate. No logs. No logs. Right, so we just had a quick stop off it. So well I, I opted for little. You went to Home Bargains. Home Bargain, what have you got? Yeah, no one likes. Cans of Coke. Sort of in squares. Oh I love a Terry square Chris. And I've got um Bottle of red wine, pistachios and donuts. Healthy all the way, this uh, little trip, you know. What's for? I know it's red wine. <laughs> Enjoy that in a bit. You're a red wine connoisseur, are you? Yeah, I'll tell you what. That's what you're connoisseur. <laughs> you're not got chocolate donuts. Yeah. I'm starving. Can I eat chocolate donuts? No, 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 no. Oh. Don't have a chocolate donut. 
Don't like the chocolate. Don't like the chocolate donuts. <laughs> You've never heard any. Do you want pistachios? And Are you suggesting pistachio nuts are left field? Just on the chocolate donut thing. You like chocolate? Yeah. Do you like donuts? Yeah. But you don't like chocolate donuts? Nope. And I'm very left field. We went in for snacks and you come out with pistachio nuts. That's a snack? That's left field. That's left field, that. I got wine. Wine and pistachios. I just cut it against your logs. Anyway. I'm happy with me, Terry chocolate orange and me cans of coke. We're nearly there, that was, um, I need the sat back on. That was an hour's, an hour's drive. Because basically it leads us into where we're going tomorrow because this is part of like two episodes that you'll see hopefully in continuous weeks and uh, I haven't revealed yet to Lewis where we're playing tomorrow. So this this is Barnard Castle. Yeah. It's very nice, isn't it? It reminds me of... Um What's the time we go to when we go to Edinburgh? Oh my god, I was gonna say you've got it, it's bigger. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's very much like bigger, but smaller. It's, it's very nice, like an old, old old market town, isn't it? Really nice. So I haven't told you where we're staying, but but we are we are in the grounds of a castle. I, you're gonna like it. So that's the castle up there. That castle dates. We'll do a quick history lesson. I think that that castle dates back to well pre pre Battle of Hastings. You, you didn't. There was. You didn't really respond to that, did you? In any way, there was no kind of like. <laughs> you just just add another square crisp. It'll never be what. What it was. It'll never be what it's famous for, will it? No. It'll never be famous for being a castle again, will it? No. There's the unicorn. Is that open? I've got a question for you before I go any before I start. What is your order? Give me your order in Hickory's. My order in Hickory's yeah. is a double burger. Double patty. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. The sauce, the, the cheese and sauce, like come on it. Yeah. Um. No salad. Zero salad. Add bacon and pulled pork. Bacon and pulled pork. That's what I have, yeah. What sort of bun? Do you know what sort of bun it is? Uh, I think it's like a brioche thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, a, I've got, seriously, I'm in the I'm kitchen here. I'm you know? better off staying down here. By the way, it's Lewis down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better off staying you down You stay here. down there. Yeah. I've got the I've wine. I've been told not to get involved. I've got the wine. I've got, I've got, I've got double patties. And we'll have to wait and see what happens for the rest of it. Are you any good at the symbols on um, cookers, what they mean? Yeah, the green light means it's on. The new chips in KFC are amazing, aren't they? You want a can? Uh, I'm going to have a can with my... Um, with my food, if that's all right. 
in Kung Fu. In Kung Fu. Yeah. I'm really comfy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really comfy. I'd be no good over there anyway. I could say, oh, do you want a hand? And you'd be like, in 30 seconds, you'd tell me to piss off anyway, so. No, no, she knows I don't like red. <laughs> I think the marriage could be off, you know. Yeah, who's married? Yours. Why? You'd be proposing to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. I can't hear, man. Was the first to call out, Mr. Hester? Yeah. Uh, he took a bit of a bashing. All oh, right, so it'll be. Are you? Um, I've done a little look at this. Stop it. That's the lens I've gone to, mate. What, what's that? Um, Perry Perry barbecue sauce. You're a barbecue sauce man, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'm and you're a Nando's man. That is wonderful behaviour. Right up your street, there. Ah, oh, that's a party, that. Absolutely brilliant. Don't know what you mean. Why, what have you got there? What's that? What is it? What did you ask for? You haven't. Yeah. You genuinely gonna got pulled pork. Say again. What's that? Pulled pork. No, you haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is ace. Oh, you've swam the channel here. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to have to get a close up of that, mate. Yeah. Let's go with that. That's pulled pork. Do you want to forget? What's the complaint? No complaints. Yeah, but what is the complaint? I mean, it's missing bacon, isn't it? But... <laughs> <laughs> no complaints. This is absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Because I've not had a burger with pulled pork on. You're kidding me. No. I'm just going to blow your head off this. But you know what's good? The fries. Well, you're all for trying new things. I mean, it's probably not. Oh, I'll eat. It's probably, it's probably not going to broaden your horizons. So. I'll eat anything, mate. I really. Oh, you, do you want any, um, do you want any, you, you see, you don't need sauce now, do you? Not really, no. No, we've we'll, we'll got some sauce for the fries now, haven't we? Here we go. Brioche bun as well. That's decent. Huh? Pull pork's add to it, doesn't it? Yeah. It definitely adds to it. Good effort this. Mmm. Fair news. <laughs> I can't believe you went down pull <coughs> pork. <laughs> pull pork's winner winner, isn't it? Right. I think what we'll do, I don't even know if I'm on shot, but we'll call it a day there. I hope you enjoyed playing Stymie. It's, we loved it. It's gonna need a bit of a tweak in terms of filming, but in terms of the gameplay and the match play, it was really, you know, was, did you think so? I think we did agreed, it, don't we? <coughs> did exactly what, 
how it did exactly what you it know, intended to do. It negated sort of bad play or yeah, you get away with play. a few. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. But it was it. good fun at the same time. Yeah, adds yeah. a bit of banter on the tee. Yeah. Adds a load. It adds a completely different element to a game that can just seem like it takes three, four, five hours sometimes, which is we loved it, and I'd love nothing more than if you go out and uh, if you're in a pair or a you know four ball, go out and give it a go. You've seen the rules. Don't forget if you play off eighteen holes, you double up those stymies. But essentially, the gameplay is very simple once you get your head around it. And uh, we're going to play again tomorrow. So when we get up tomorrow morning, it'll be the start of next week's episode. And we're heading another hour uh, to the west coast, close to home, to be honest with you. And uh, we've got another interesting golf course to play. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna, in all these videos, I'm going to ask you to, we're going to try and get as many likes as possible as we can to help these grow. So do your bit and just hit that like button. That's all I ask. And thanks for watching. Thanks to Lou. Thanks to Seton Carew. And uh, we'll see you next week. But what I can tell you is pulled pork on a burger. It's a winner, winner, isn't it? Chicken dinner. We're doing this again next week. I'm going to pull that then. <laughs> I'm making a, a breakfast bath. It's really good, though. It is, isn't it? I'll tell you what, mate. That um, pulled pork is a winner.